Maker's blessing on you, brother. The Maker brought forth this world and every creature in it. In my experience, religious people are inveterate liars. He chose a human woman as his prophet and bride, but he loves all races, even elves. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. I... Uh, never mind. The Shaper of Memories has refused me so far. Aha! I smell a seedy underbelly. What's and all? Enemies approaching! We'll get plenty for this. <laughs> Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a f long as you keep... Spe have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. I am nothing. My family has disowned me. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. I've heard that word. It's a human term, right? For a child with no father? He was castless. And I think... No. I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child... was a son. Castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Y you would do that? But why? Truly? And look at the finery you wear. Maybe there is hope for my boy after all. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. I do not think he will listen to you. You got two silver? I'll do anything. Perhaps I could have a try at that. It shall be done. I don't share drinks with castless. Don't start something you can't finish, Brand. I don't share drinks with castless. Oh, I'm the monster, not the castless wretch that filled my daughter with his brat. I've got a family and a reputation to protect. I'm not letting one stupid girl drag us all down. Murder? You think she'd die just to keep that thing? I never wanted her gone. 
just a little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? Look, just tell her... We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that... Oh, just tell her to come home. Shall be done. you weren't coming. What did he say? Both of us? I don't believe he said that, but maybe. Maybe Mother convinced him. Or you did. If this were a story, my son would grow to manhood and pledge himself as a knight in your service. When he grows up, I will send him to you. I promise. talking to your companions, or are you from the surface too? A, a thousand pardons. Excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? Oh, I actually was talking to your... Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation, and a great responsibility. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I want to know if they would accept me for study. No dwarf has ever studied at the Circle of Magi. I guess you never read First Enchanter Caitlin's treatise concerning dwarfs and the non-heritability of magic. He tested dwarfs from 20 bloodlines and found they couldn't perform any level of spell casting, regardless of lyrium exposure or time on the surface. The Circle speculates that lyrium in the stone shields us from spiritual influences and over time made us immune to them. I want to go to the Circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the Circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. I can't believe it. I heard a dwarf in Grey Warden came to Orzammar and I couldn't help but hope. Look at you. My little brother, the returning hero. 
and with quite the unusual entourage. You look so good, and so fancy. I've been worrying that we're living in luxury while you're suffering on the road. Can you imagine? As of last month, I'm a royal concubine to House Idukin. They've moved Mother and me into the palace. You could fit our whole neighborhood just in the bathing room. I wish you could meet little Endrin, but they don't let me bring him outside the royal nursery. <laughs> Mother is... Mother, we have everything we could want now, but, well, you know what they say. You can't leave Dust Town if you always take it with you. And I haven't seen Lesky since you left. Balin doesn't like me spending time off the estate. What... what about you? All the news from the surface says terrible things are happening. Darkspawn attacks and a civil war among the humans. And I'm sure the Assembly would agree if they weren't busy arguing the secession. I hate this. Until there's a king, the Assembly would let the world collapse rather than bow to anyone's better judgment. But I'm Balin's concubine now. I know his chief lieutenant, Vartag Gavorn. He can help you if anyone can. He may be suspicious at first. Don't take it personally. Rika, I'm at the Assembly. This is no place for a woman. What do you mean by this? Vartag, this is my brother. He comes on behalf of the Grey Wardens, with dreadful news. Of course, I wasn't thinking. It would be hard not to notice the Grey Warden and his... eclectic entourage. I hear you seek the aid of Orzammar's finest. Ah, ancient documents indeed. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. You must understand, Haramont hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. It's been like a knife in the heart for Balin, to see so many of his father's men stand with the usurper. Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception. Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Haramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. That's not important. If they ask, say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your treaty. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapster's in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Desher's lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough! The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Forgive me. I am so exhausted. 
Welcome back to Orsalar, Warden. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. I only wish there was more I could do for you. I knew Vartag could help you. And just wait until you meet Prince Valen. You'll love him. Not a lot. She's supposed to be very practical. Vartag speaks favorably of her dedication. His mother is getting on in years and gave up her assembly seat to him. Many of the nobles think he's a disappointment. He actually thinks the lower classes are people. I could almost like him if he wasn't such a vocal supporter for Harrimont. He isn't, but Gavorn is a very minor house and Balin has always favored them. Vartag's son was fostered with Idukin, which was a great honor. Valen promised that when little Indrin is twelve, he'll spend a year there in exchange. Finally, you ask. Oh, he's beautiful, with the biggest brown eyes, and so smart. He already knows who his father is. I'm sure his first word will be Prince. But you're giving me that look. I can take a hint. Finish your business, and we can talk later. Off with you, then. I still love saying that. My house. I shall do it. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. In an ordinary time, Lord Harrowmont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, We've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Harrowmont under a pretense of friendship. So I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Harrowmont, you will need to prove he can trust you. You're asking the King of Orzammar to send armies to the surface, but Orzammar has no king and we have no army. Right now, the men who should be fighting Darkspawn are brawling in the street. If you want Lord Harrowmont's time now, you'll have to prove you have no intention of turning against him later. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. It would cert- <laughs> And this is to be your king. Lord Harrowmont does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah, I see. So it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. How dare you slander Lord Harrowmont? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? Were I you, I would seek a stronger king than this Harrowmont. Surely you don't mean Balin. then you and I have nothing more to say.
Thanks again, Warden. News of the hour. Two more clans endorse Lord Balin as the new king. What do you want? Are you one of those tiresome noble hunters? Neither my sons nor I are interested. Ah, such a noble profession. Cleaning up whatever dark spawn stragglers make it to the surface. You must be very proud. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient Taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. Thank you. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Good luck. News of the hour! Three more cl- Lands endorse Lord Harumont as the true voice of the Dwarven folk. Is oh, this is high. grand. The noble houses do Two love their Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors. How can you people... So, I've been hearing rumor that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I can't imagine. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? <laughs> oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And they'll both have to try something else. I thought it was going to be a nice day. I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same, well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. What do you want? Uh, I know who you are. That castless whelp who ran off to become a warden. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn, and now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Power hungry deep lords. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Why do you care, huh? You looking to uncover all her secrets? Is that what Balin wants? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? 
Hey, of course. I'm her bleeding husband, aren't I? Is that what you're looking for? Well, there it is. Fine. You keep on your errands. Sod off, duck. Sod. Sod off, Duster. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess uh, now I'll have to go through the whole. What do you? I guess you're just like all the rest. Broncos, a pair. It's been two years since she disappeared down the deep roads, and your boss never gave her a thought. I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology. Too little, too late. I know both Harrimont and Balin have been asking about her. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. Sawed off, Duster. Sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. What anyone knows? You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Best of luck. <laughs> 